To get started bleeding the brake system, I'm going to pop the hood, open the hood, and uh, get ready out here with uh, my clean brake fluid, my new clean brake fluid. Open the hood, get my system ready. This is just a cover that keeps the cowl area sealed from the engine compartment here. So this just seal comes up, it just pops, pops out right there on the Honda, on the CRV, so you can access this cover. So pull it out. I'm gonna top it off because I already lost a little bit of fluid. And I'm gonna use either dot three or dot four high temperature brake fluid. Get that uh, at any part store, AutoZone, Pep Boys, Advance Auto, wherever. Purchase that locally. Be careful with it because if it drips onto the paint make sure you wipe it off and and wash it off immediately it's hard on paint and after I add some I always put the lid back on so that you don't spill now there's several ways to uh, bleed a brake system you can use a bleeder cap put air pressure here at the cylinder and then just go bleed the brakes like I'm going to show you back at the cylinder or you can do it the way I'm going to show you. There's a couple different methods. Three different methods of bleeding your brakes. One is to purchase that cap and put air pressure at the master cylinder. You replace the master cylinder cap, master cylinder reservoir cap, with a new cap and put pressure there. Then you can just bleed it like I'm showing you now, where you open the valve with a hose and be back here at the at the caliper or you can use the master cylinder and pump the brakes so the two different methods of pumping the brakes is one to get a, a buddy to assist you he pumps the brakes while you bleed the brakes so he pumps it up pumps it three times holds the pedal you open the valve here let the let the air and uh, fluid bubble out and then he as the pedal gets to the floor he tells you when the pedal is on the floor he says floor and then you close the valve and then you tell him pump it up and he pumps it up and then uh, um, he holds it so he pumps it up three times gets a good pedal feel holds it and then you open the valve and the pedal will go to the floor he says floor you close the valve and you tell them to pump it up again. So you do that until all the bubbles are out of the system. Now, whenever you start to bleed a brake system, especially if you're, if you know there's air in the system, like I do, because I just put new caliper on here. So there's air in this caliper. There may be a little fluid in here. They might've put fluid in it to um, help install the seals, but there's mostly air in here. So I definitely need to bleed the brakes. Now this is a self-bleeding system, meaning the reservoir is higher than the rest of the system, but you won't have any brake pedal if you don't bleed the system. So it takes quite a while for a brake system to self-bleed. If there's a bubble or two of air, then that'll bleed itself out of the system eventually. But if you're putting on new calipers, you need to bleed the brake system. And you always start the, the cylinder, the wheel cylinder, or the caliper, that's furthest away from the master cylinder is where you start. So typically the master cylinder is over on the brake pedal on the driver's side. So you start on the passenger side, rear caliper or wheel cylinder. That's where you start. So I bring my five gallon pail close so I can use my, my jar, my trusty jar. I've used this for years and then a hose. So you put your wrench on, make sure that your bleeder valve is loose slightly loose and then I'll tighten it to where it's just tight with the wrench that's my my base point so I know that the the bleeder valve is tight see right there is tight so I got my wrench the way I want it so I know where it's where it's open and closed I put my little vinyl hose on now if I'm gonna have a buddy help me I don't need to put any fluid in my jar you could always start with a little fluid but I don't have to if I have a buddy helping me but if I'm gonna do it by myself 
if I'm all alone, what I want to do is I want to put some fluid in my jar so my the bottom of my hose is covered with fluid, and then I just open the, the valve and leave it open, and then I go pump the brakes myself, and I, and I just pump it slowly, and that's going to force fluid out of this cylinder. Of course, my other cylinders, my other calipers on this car, it's all, they're all four are disc brakes, so they're all calipers. It'll force air out of this particular caliper if the other valves are closed. So then once I come back here and I see fluid with no bubbles in it and my hose, see how my hose is slightly elevated because my jar is tall enough, then, then I know I need to keep bleeding the system. So I want to see clean fluid and I want to see no bubbles in it and I'll come back and I'll close the valve and then I'll move to the other side. That's if I'm doing it by myself. So if I have somebody helping me, then I do the method I was just telling you until I, I see no air bubbles. And then I close the valve and then I'm done with this side once I see no air bubbles. Or I can continue to bleed the system until I see good clean fluid coming out. And that's typically what I want to do. I, I usually change the fluid on when I do a, a brake job, especially if it's in the rear. I put enough fluid in and keep doing it until I see nice clean fluid coming out of it. Yeah, I thought I had a buddy coming over today to help me, but uh, I'm going to use a method where I'm doing it by myself. So I'm going to add some fluid to my jar just so that the hose is covered. And then I'm going to go pump the brakes myself. I'll, I'll time lapse this for you. So see how my jar filled up and I have no bubbles in my line. I monitored the jar, pumped the brakes till I had a little fluid in, refilled the master cylinder, pumped some more, checked my jar, refilled the master cylinder, checked my jar. Now my jar is full. So I'm going to shut the valve off and then I'm going to switch to the other side. I'm going to dump all but a little bit, about an inch out of my jar so I can start on the other side. So same setup just on the driver's side or left side of the car. I'm gonna get a feel for how the valve opens, closes, right there is tight. So I'm using my box down so open it, put my tube on. Make sure I'm submerged on the end. Make sure I'm open. And then I'm going to pump the brakes. So that's the left side. So I filled up the jar. You can see that there's no bubbles in my tube and the jar is almost full. It's not completely clear, but uh, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to shut my valve off. And now I'm going to use the buddy method and try bleeding it one more time to see if I get any air out to force any more air out. Okay, pump it up. Pump it up. So tell me when, once you're holding it, right? Holding it. Tell me when it hits oh. the foot. Okay, go ahead and pump it up and hold it. Hold it. All right, so I'm not getting any bubbles out of it. Okay, that's good. Hold on. I'm going to go to the other side. Moving over to the passenger side, the right side. Okay, pump it up and hold it. Hold. 
Okay, go ahead, pump it up and hold it. Getting some air out of it. Okay, pump it up and hold it. Okay, that was looking pretty good. Go ahead, pump it up and hold it. Okay, hold on just a second. Now I want you to start it up. Can you start it? Start the car? Now. Yep, go ahead, start the car. Now pump it up and hold it. So now we're gonna use the, the power assist. Go ahead and pump it up and hold it just like you were doing before. You ready? Go ahead, pump it up and hold it. Go ahead, do it again. Okay, go ahead. Okay, that's looking really good. I'm going to switch to the other side one more time. So go back. I'm going back to the left side, the driver's side. Okay, back on the left side. Go ahead and pump it up and hold it. Just a second. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. Okay, go ahead. Pump it up and hold it. Go ahead, pump it up and hold it. Okay, that looks real good. Now we should have a real strong pedal feel. So let me go check the pedal. So that's it. Good strong pedal feel. I topped off the master cylinder one more time. Now I can make sure my valves are good and closed. Put my dust cap back on here so I'm done I'm gonna wipe it down get my flashlight out check my banjo fitting it looks dry dry as a bone on this side so that's good so my banjo fitting isn't leaking on this side go to the other side check it and then just put the wheels back on and ready for a test drive so that's it that's the 2015 honda crv replacing the rear brakes the rotor caliper pads with uh, brand new rotors calipers and pads let me know if you have any comments let me know if you enjoyed the video or if it was helpful let me know in the comments.